Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Dream Eaters. We're going to get right into the game here and show you what this is all about. So we are playing, as usual on these live streams, for the League of Extraordinary Investigators. And tonight we're going to be running our favorite Lola Hayes and Fit Edwards in Dream Eaters, um, the side A campaign, um, to be precise. I'm going to show you the decks that we're going to be playing tonight. Let's get them out. Where'd they go? Right here. Okay. That's right, Manson. You are just in time. So I've uh, decided to, um, since it's the Dream Eaters, I've decided to take some inspiration from the classic film Inception when designing these two decks. First, we've got the Ariadne deck. So this one's going to be very um, mystical. This is going to be about... Um, Lola here is going to do a lot of, um, I guess, mystical modification of the dream. So as we gain levels, that's really going to become clear. But just, you know, pretty pretty basic Lola deck. And um, except for one neat twist, we're going to be using Alyssa Graham pretty, um, pretty heavily here because of a little uh, twist that the Dream Eaters likes to throw. Um, basically, she's going to be able to start off with Alyssa, Gla Alyssa Graham in play, and she's going to be able to use it to deal with all of her weaknesses. The rest of it is, you know, pretty standard, at least you know by my standards for a Lola deck. Actually, you know, we got fingerprint kits to get clues. We've got enchanted blades to defeat enemies. You know, we've got some clue gathering. You know, good stuff here. And then we're also going to play the Arthur deck, and this is going to be Finn Edwards, and. Um, this talk is going to be based around getting Leo starting the game with Leo DeLuca in play. And he's going to be all about using his Lockvix to get clues, but also um, evading any bad guys that show up. And you know, getting clues, evading bad guys, pretty straightforward, actually. He's got you handle this one in order to deal with the willpower tests. So this might, um, since there's some nasty willpower tests in this one, so this this... This may or not may or not may or may not go very well, but uh, let's let's we're gonna see how we do. All right, so let's get back into it. We are playing beyond the gates of sleep. We've got our decks ready to go. I've set everything up. So we start off. Finn and Lola go to sleep, and they wake up here at the seventy steps of lighter slumber, because you know it looks like an eyeball down there with a planet, you know, in in the in the pupil. So they're going to be heading down the steps. So we're going to get things set up before we do the uh, scenario setup instructions, because that's technically how you do things. OK, so Lola, um, yep, she's going to draw our five cards. What are we looking for? We got, OK, so we actually want to mulligan away Alyssa for this part. Um, we don't need Enchanted Blades now. Heck, we probably don't even need, do we even need Emergency Cash? Yeah, I'll keep the Emergency Cash, though. So um, we're going to be really low on resources early, so I'll just, yeah, I'll just mulligan those two and draw back up. Okay. Oh, there we go. And we are going to start off as, since we are playing Lola, we have to pick a starting roll. And we're going to start off as a mystic for reasons that are going to become clear pretty soon here. Okay. Give that a shuffle. Okay, so over with Finn here. Okay, we, whoops. We are, okay, don't have that. Okay, we want to, okay, we're going to mulligan that away. We're not gonna be able to afford it. Let's keep the cigarette case. And then I think, honestly, we're not gonna be making a lot of agility tests or evasions early. We'll keep the deduction though. Okay, so we'll redraw three. Okay. Oh well, I guess we got a second cigarette case, which we're not going to need. We're not going to need. Okay, here we go. 
So we are all set up. Now we go to, um, as is described at the back of your rule book, we're going to do scenario setup instructions. And order really matters here. So what, what's going to happen is uh, each of them, Lola and Finn, are going to have a dream. So Lola's dream, since she's a mystic right now, um, she's going to be dreaming about traversing an enchanted path full of color and vibrancy. Wisps of light hang in the air, bobbing up and down as you approach. With each step you take, the flora along the path atrophy, following no laws of nature. Flowers once bloomed in your wake, now they shrivel as you pass. Uh-oh, she's having a pretty, pretty bad dream right now. Vines wither and die. The wisps mock you for your ignorance, yet you do not slow your pace. As you look upon the fair trees, their leaves begin to fall. The once green grass is dry, brown, and cracked. But even should the whole forest die, it will be worth reaching the other side. When you do, the trail ends abruptly at an ornate wooden door carved into the trunk of a great redwood. So, remember what I was saying about starting off with Alyssa Graham. So Lola is going to get to search her deck for Alyssa Graham and put it into play. Pretty sweet. So she gets to start off with Alyssa. And this is kind of... Um, this is one thing I want to know that's interesting about this campaign. This is like the one time you can do a deck that's based around one particular card and uh, expect to have it in play at the start of the game. Okay, now Finn's dream. Now uh, Finn's dream here. This is a little different. He he is uh, he dreams that he's playing poker, and he's got like the perfect hand, and he bets everything except uh, you know he, he bets everything, but then. Um, He's got, what has he got? He, he looks at his hand again. He realizes he's got nine of hearts, ten of clubs, some D of diamonds, a C of spades, and the N of tentacles. It's like, uh-oh. Yeah, he, uh, he thought he had the great hand. He bet big, and then he lost. And now he's ushered out the door of, I guess, the Clover Club. So he's going to search his deck. And while he's searching his deck, he's going to have an astounding revelation about the card game that he just played. You know what? It might be a dream after all. So that's going to give him two resources. Okay. And then, let's see. He's going to find and pay the cost of Leo De Luca. There we go. Okay, so off to a good start. Finn already has four actions. And let's do... We'll make another one for his evade action. Okay. And Lola already starts off with Alyssa Graham. So they are two uh, dreamers here. When they go under, they have their little crew with them. Okay, so let's get started. Um, in the dr So in this uh, scenario, we have no encounter deck. We have 19 Doom, but we're putting two Doom down every turn. So that's, that's, that's not so good. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get down. We're trying to, uh, well, first we're trying to get to the Cavern of Flame. And to get to the Cavern of Flame, we need to discover all two clues on the 70 steps of lighter of lighter slumber. All right, what do we have here? When you leave the 70 steps, take a horror for each card in your hand in excess of five. Okay, so we just want to get these two clues and get moving as soon as possible. So I think we're all set up and ready to go. Oh, got to make sure the bag's right. Yeah, this is, what, this is the bag that has no skulls at the start. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna make this happen. Okay, so what do we need to do? Um, Finn has four actions, which is pretty great. He's got a four in intellect, so he might be the one to actually um, get started on get started on this. Um, let's see. I think what we'll do is as a fast action, we're gonna have Lola use Alyssa. Okay, to look at the top card of her deck. Okay, we are totally gonna discard that and. Uh, or, oh, or we can add a Doom to her to put it at the bottom of the deck. Whoops, I haven't played this in a while. Played Alyssa, like, ever. So I can either... I can um, So I guess the trick is I can add a Doom, and um, I can add a Doom to avoid it entirely, or I could just switch into a different role and just tank it. I think since we need to keep our hands low, I'll, um, I'll leave it on top. That's what I'll do. Okay, so we haven't even taken any actions yet. So I think... We're going to have, that's a fast, so that's not going to affect whether we, you know, get to do much stuff. So I think what we'll do is, I think we are going to have Lola go first. Because I think we're going to have her swap to Guardian. Since we know we, we want to end our turn not in, we want to not be Mystic. Um, I think we're going to swap to Guardian to play some resources. That way Finn will have a little bit to be able to play Lucky Cigarette Case and get going. 
That that seems pretty good. Plus he's got smuggled goods, so that'll be nice. Okay, so we're gonna start with Lola. Alright, so first things first, we are going to swap to Guardian. We're gonna go stand together, since they start off together. Alright. Then we're gonna play emergency cash to get some more resources. Okay. We know what that card is. So I think we'll just um we'll just chill for a bit. Yeah, that seems a little seems kinda of boring. I could draw, take the hit. Yeah, that seems even better. All right, so third action, we're going to draw. Hey, what you, what's that? Yeah, we knew that was coming. So she discards all our guardian cards. She discards this and becomes a mystic again. Oh, how handy. Okay, so that was all three of her actions. She went play a card, play a card, draw. Okay, well, that went pretty well. All right, over to Finn. Um, he's already got four intellects, so we can have him get started. So I think what we'll do is we'll go first action, place lucky cigarette case. Okay, now we're going to start investigating. He is a four. The location is a shroud one. So let's get going. All right, first action, lucky cigarette case. Now let's uh, give this bag a good shuffle because we're going to get rolling here. All right, second action, investigate four on one. <laughs> well, that's how, uh, that's how this game is going to go. This is how it's going to go. We're just going to draw lots of tentacles. All right, third action, investigate four on one. All right, what do we got? That is a minus two, so he's going to succeed by one, but still get the clue. Okay, last action, we're going to investigate four on one. Uh, that is a minus zero, so he's going to succeed by a whole bunch. He's going to succeed by, I guess, three, and draw a card with Lucky Cigarette Case. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for, the lock picks. Okay, so that's, that's going to help. He's going to be on the investigated eight pretty soon here. Okay, so that was all four of his actions. That's not a fast, is it? No, it isn't. Okay, so we're off to a decent start. Um, we got our clues, we got some resources. Next turn, we're gonna be able to roll right into the Cavern of Flame. Okay, so we're gonna go to Upkeep. Uh, Finn might have too many cards, though, going into the Cavern of Flame. So we're gonna go to Upkeep, we're gonna draw and take a resource. All right, so we have Hallowed Mirror for later. That's um, when things start going really bad. Okay, and over here, we're going to Set our actions, draw, and oh man, <laughs> caught red-handed. Okay, there are no enemies moving as a result of caught red-handed, so we're gonna shuffle it right back into the deck, and that actually dodges a bullet. Yep, the first auto-fail token has already arrived, Manson, getting all that bad luck out of the way. So we get to shuffle that back in, and I guess we're still at five cards, so we don't have to worry about taking horror when we uh, when we leave. So that that went well. Okay, so um, start of the mythos phase we're going to put two doom down on the agenda because we have no encounter deck all right so let's get started um who's going to go in first let's see who's good who's better at making we're going to, have to be making some parlay tests when we go in there and another one are particularly well we've got prophesy so she's at a four five on the intellect one so that's pretty decent so i think what we'll do is we'll start with lola we'll start by using Graham. Okay, let's, what do we got here? We got an Enchanted Blade, so I guess I'll leave that on top. Okay, yep, we'll leave that on top. That's that's good, we're gonna get an Enchanted Blade. All right, so first action, I think we're gonna have Lola head in. Okay, so first action, Lola moves, and we're going to head into the Cavern of Flame and advance the act. There's a lot of act advancing that goes on early on here okay so what's going to happen is we're going to meet we're going to um, find a pillar of flame in a cavern and there's going to be let's see two two priests that must test us with parlay tests so we're going to lose our clues we're going to add a skull token i could be doing this a few times we're going to add a skull token to the bag okay and we're going to put these two fellas into play Yep. And then um now we need to advance when now we advance when they um are neither of them are in play, so we've got to add them to the victory display. Okay, so what do we got what do we got with the Cabinet of Flame here? Um at the end of the Mythos phase, each investigator in the Cabinet of Flame takes a damage. Okay, also don't know if we can go there just yet. Okay, well I'll just do that anyway. Okay, so we've spent one action. Now we have a we have to make a parlay test at difficulty four. Okay, or uh, 
intellect, you know, in, a, a, a mental test at difficulty four. Okay, so Lola's already a four on um, intellect, so that's pretty good. That would put her at five, but I need to go a little farther here. All right, so I think I'm going to go second action. Well, we know that's we know what that is, and that's not really going to help us. So there's no clues to get either. Okay, so we know that Prophesy is going to trigger next turn. That's going to be good. We can also commit our Hallowed Me. Eh, that won't help. We need another. We need more books. Okay. Yeah, I wish you got like some more question marks to be able to do this. I packed in, I packed the deck full of like question marks and even uh, fine clothes for this. Okay, so I think we'll go. We'll just actually just go second action draw, third, uh, and now since we don't know what this card's going to be, we'll swap to guardian, and then draw again. Okay, so oh, that'll actually help us with uh, the physical test. Okay, so that's her turn. All right, then we'll see what we'll see what Finn can do here. He's going to go, he's got four actions. First one will be move. Okay. He can probably do an agility test. Oh, I can actually can do either one, really. Yeah, because he's, he's got good stats for this. So let's go. Let's see, will smuggle goods help us? Not in this case. Okay, so right now if he makes the test, he's four on four. Let's see, Lola can give him up a brain. We don't want to do that. Okay. Next turn we can take care of the, that won't help with the physical. So we need to add, let's see. Nope, she can't commit anything but this. So that's not going to help. She could commit the Enchanted Blade, but I think we're going to use our feet. We're going to use uh, agility for this. All right. So right now we're four and four. If I commit this and this, I go, Six on four on agility, and I think I can live with that. Yeah, I think I can live with that. Okay, second action will um, parlay with Nashed. We'll go six on four. Okay. Nice. Okay, so we succeed by three, which means we'll get a card. Okay, that's good to see. Oh, that'll help us with the mental test, actually. All right, so we get a card and we've parlayed with Nashed. Okay. Third action, we'll go. We'll um, parlay again. We'll throw in Perception. Yeah, to go six on four for an Intellect test. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll take it. Yep, except for that. Yep. Well, that's the second auto fail today. All right. Well, let's see what happens. You fail when he. Uh, when we fail, he attacks each investigator. Okay, well, I guess we get attacked. Uh, do a damage on Leo DeLuca. Okay. Well, with that, I mean, I could add, I could just double commit lockpicks and deduction, but that sounds terrible. So I think what we'll do is we'll have Lola take care of it next turn by using Prophesy. Yeah, because then she'll be six on four with Prophesy. So with his last action, um, let's see. I know we need to keep our cards down when as we go forward. So I think I'll actually just take a resource. Yeah, I think I'll just actually. I think I'll just take a resource here. Yeah, it feels like a bad choice. It feels like we're getting stuck, but well, you know that's tentacles for you. Yep, the second tentacle. All right. Nothing really happens in the enemy phase, so we're just going to go to upkeep. Okay, card and resource. See, there's the promise of power I was after. See, that's that's what I wanted going into uh, these parlay tests, is this thing. So I think we're going to have Lola, you know, ace it next turn. Okay, and then we're going to grab a card, take a resource, breaking and entering. That's going to be really helpful um, near the end of the scenario when we're down in the Enchanted Woods. Okay, so new turn. We need to reduce Lil's hand size, I think. All right, so we're going to add two Doom to our agenda. Okay. No encounter cards. So let's get started. Um, let's have Lola ace that thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have her swap to Mystic. We're going to use our Alyssa Graham. Okay, there is an emergency cache. I'll leave that on top. Okay, so first action, she's going to parlay, and she's going to do an intellect test. She's already a four. And do I want to use Prophesy? Nope, I'll save that for later because that's going to become three question marks. So we'll, we'll use Promise of Power. We'll add a curse. And we're going to be eight on four. 
Okay, not a tentacle. We make it. Okay. So he goes to the victory display, and we are going to advance. Okay, so we lose our clues again. Uh, we put this. Then we put these um, these locations into play that I already had already had done there. We're gonna get another skull. What are other skulls anyway? Half the number of cards in your hand. Ooh, we gotta be careful about that. And um, we just carry on. Okay, so uh, these, I think we need, to keep, we need to bring our hand size down. Fortunately, there's no easy way to do that like there was here. Okay, so that means she has two actions left. Let's, um, let's bring our hand size down a little bit. I think we're gonna, we already swapped to Mystic, so I think we'll, um, we know that's an a, um, emergency cache, so we have no problem playing this Enchanted Blade. Okay, and then I guess we can just move on. All right, here we go. Let's move in. Two clues. When you leave the 700 steps, aha, take a horror for each card in your hand in excess of three. And we can't move to the base of the steps until we've cleared these two clues. At Shroud 2, shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we went uh, Parlay, Play Enchanted Blade, and Move. Okay, no problem. That's uh, pretty simple. We'll have to get our, we'll have to drop some cards down. I'll probably play a fingerprint kit next turn in order to do that. Okay, over to here. All right, pretty simple. I think it's going to be lockpicks time for this. Another possibility is I could just use deduction and just zip through. Yeah, I've got tons of actions, so I could probably just use deduction and just zip through this. First action, head here. Okay. Second action, let's play our lockpicks. Yeah, third action, let's use our lockpicks, and why the hell not? Let's, uh, hmm, I mean, I could use deduction, but I think I'm going to, honestly, I think I'm going to save deduction for the dangerous locations. So one thing about this scenario is that, um, oh, man, it's in the parlay test. Yeah, it is plus one difficulty per um, investigator. That's why it was difficulty four instead of difficulty two. Yeah. Because there are two investigators, so that made it that made them difficulty four. Okay, so where was I? I moved and I played my lockpicks, and um, I'm considering if I I'm considering whether to put deduction in on this lockpicks test. I think I'm actually going to save my deduction for. No, I, I'm going to use my deduction. I was thinking about saving it for later because one thing about this scenario is there's there's some like high shrouds that you have to get later in the scenario. And but I think I'm actually going to use my deduction because I need to keep my hand size down at this stage anyway. So I'll just do it. Okay, third action. I'll use my lock picks and I'll commit this deduction. So we're going to be eight. We're going to be eight nine on two. Not a tentacle. So move lock picks. Investigate. Get both clues. Okay. Also use this lucky cigarette case. Okay. Track shoes. That'll be handy. Last action, um, we'll head down. Yeah, take a horror. Yeah, while we have three three cards, we're gonna head down to the base of the steps. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Forgot about this one. When you enter the base of the steps, if you have at least one card in your hand, test will power X. X is the number of cards in your hand. If you fail, you must either take a horror or discard that card. Oh, yuck. Okay, and we're going to advance when we get to the enchanted path. All right, so um, I think we'll do, we'll just test it one. We'll commit this lucky cigarette case since we don't need it anymore. So we'll just test it at two on two and hope for the best. Uh, minus two, so we either have to take two horror or discard these two cards. I think I'm just going to take horror. There we go. So that is, yep, that's the end. He went, he moved, he's moved twice, he's played a lock picks, and he's investigated. So all in all, pretty decent turn for Finn. Okay. Uh, once again, we have no baddies. So we know that this is a, an emergency cache. Okay. And over here, let's see what we get. Oh, Finn has found an enemy. He has found his worst nightmare. Yeah, I guess like his worst nightmare has to do with like, debtors or something you know or the cops because you know he's got dreams of playing poker and losing and stuff it's very horrific fortunately finn has a uh you know we're going to turn on this action since we can actually uh you know evade this thing okay so new turn we are going to be six doom and we need to get rolling okay so lola is due for a lot of horror when she leaves this location unless she does some discarding 
Um, let's start off by looking at the top card of Lola's deck. It is a fingerprint kit, so we'll leave that there. Okay. Do I want Lola to go first, or do I want Finn to go first? Um, Finn has no real way to get both of those clues, so I think it's going to be Lola's turn to go, like, move, fingerprint kit, use fingerprint kit. Uh, then I'll wish she had another action. She can move. If Finn gets both clues and then moves out, that would be sweet, because then we could advance at the end of this turn. I could advance this turn. That would be kind of cool. Are we ready to advance? Well, we've got our Enchanted Blade, so that's good. We've got our... No, we need to, we need to get cards out of our hand. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... I think we're going to spend another turn hanging around up here. I think we're going to go first action emergency cash. I think we're going to play a fingerprint kit. So Lola's ready to go. I think what we'll do is, since we're doing really well right now, I think I can take a horror to move in. Oh, but then I got to make a willpower test. I can use the prophesy. Oh, wait, I can't use the prophesy I've already. So I think I can go free action, discard this hallowed mirror. That's a good card, though. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go as free action, discard, hallowed mirror, free action, discard, act of desperation. Yeah, we'll keep these two. Okay, so yeah, emergency cash, fingerprint kit, now we'll move. Okay, we won't take any horror when we move, but we'll have to make a willpower two test. Okay, so we are three on two. That is a minus zero, so we pass, and we get to keep all our cards. Okay, so I think we're going to have Finn. We're going to have him evade the worst nightmare and then just look for some clues and maybe head down. Okay, seems fine. So free action, we're going to evade the um, worst nightmare, or rather the Finn action. Uh, reminding, reminder of the force effects. That's here. Yeah, Lola um, Yeah, Lola passed her test, so she is okay. All right, so Finn's going to evade. He is four and two. Yep, we evade. No problem. Okay. So I guess we can look for some clues and maybe get the track shoes down. What's the shroud? Three. Okay, so let's um use our lock picks to go eight on three. That is minus one, so that's seven on three. So we're gonna succeed by two or more. Okay, and that's the action. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, so we've still got three actions left. I got one clue. I could investigate four on three. This doesn't seem too bad. Lula can't really pitch into it. So it doesn't seem too bad at all. How do we look for one over? For one. Eh, I want to be two over. I don't have any real way to boost it unless I commit this breaking and entering. It seems awful. So I think uh, how useful will track shoes be? Probably pretty useful. So you know what? While we don't have an encounter deck, let's build up. So act, we got another action. Take a resource, another action, play track shoes, and then we still have another action. Let's see. Yeah, since the skulls are minus one, I'll just go ahead and investigate with my last. Yeah, why not? Oh, we succeed on the investigate. Okay, so next turn we can just roll on down to the bottom of the steps. Okay. Survivor, best friendly effect by discarding cards of hand. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if I had winging it and stuff, I would love those to be in the bin. Yeah. Okay, so that is all our actions. Um, we have no active baddies. This thing is going to ready and engage Finn. Okay, and then we're going to ready all our stuff. Yeah, we knew what that was over here. We've got another lockpicks. Probably not going to need it, though. Although we might if we break, our, if we break these lockpicks. Okay, so we are still creeping through. You know, we're, we're not quite down. We're not down there yet, so we're going to add some doom. But that's okay, because now um, we're just going to rush down to the Enchanted Path, and we're going to really get rolling here. So we need both of us to be on the en Enchanted Path to advance. It's kind of... It is a little bit awkward, actually. So, um, because, like, we can't both go down there at once. We don't have, um, like, safeguard or shortcut or something. So I think because of that, I think we're going to have, since Finn has tons of actions, we're going to have Finn go second. 
Um, plus, Lola can move down, and nope, she won't be able to open the path for Finn's track shoes. So I think we're going to have to have Lola go first. Okay, so Lola will move. Yeah, that's when you enter. Okay, so Lola will move. What do we got here? Okay, Enchanted, that's Enchanted Woods. Small problem. Let's see. Yeah, it's each investigator. Okay, so we're heading we head on down, but we need to wait for Finn in order to spawn um all the enchanted woods. So we head on down, we'll swap to Mystic. We'll use Alyssa Graham. Oh yeah, we don't we don't want that. So we're gonna add a Doom to the agenda to not draw our we not to the agenda. Add a Doom to Alyssa Graham. Right, very important. To not draw our crisis of identity. That is going on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we've moved. Let's see. Now we're probably pretty free to draw because we've already gotten rid of one of our crises and the other one is on top. So the worst that can happen here is that she could um, fall asleep. And that would, now would be the time to uh, you know have that happen. Okay, so first action move. Swap to Mystic. Use Alyssa Graham. Put a Doom on Alyssa Graham. Second action, draw. Okay, third action, draw again. Oh, Scroll of Secrets, that's going to be handy. Although our hand slots are all full, so I guess we don't really need Scroll of Secrets just yet. Okay, so that's her turn. Finn, we're going to evade the worst nightmare and then head on down to advance. So let's do that. We're going to start with... Okay, we're going to start with evasion, five on two. I would play watch this, but I don't really want to... I don't have, only have one resource to bet. So five on two for the Finn evade. Nice. We evade by a bunch. Use Lucky Cigarette Case. Very nice. Okay. Your worst nightmare is evaded. Okay. Now our first real action. We'll come on down to the Enchanted Path. And we will advance. All right. Now we're going to... So now the plan here is we're going to try to blitz this part. Because now that we have an encounter deck, um, we're going to try to spend as little time as possible dealing with it. Um, we are at 9 Dune out of 19. So I think we've got plenty of time if we like use our fingerprint kits and our deductions to try to get two clues at once. So we advance. Okay, we lose all our clues. Okay, we get this final skull. All right, now we remove the steps from the game. So that means worst nightmare goes away. Okay. All right, we'll, um, okay, we'll move this to the center. Okay. Move this to the center and let's see. Randomly choose six of the set aside, Enchanted Woods, and remove the other copy from the game. Okay, so we've got, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Enchanted Woods. We're connected to all of them. And this one is out of the game. We also now have an encounter deck. Okay. Okay, that's out of the game too. These are out of the game. Okay, and we move on. Okay, so we're gonna all we have to do is stay on the path, but I don't think we're gonna do that because we need to get ten clues and there aren't any to find on the enchanted path. So I think we're gonna roam around and uh you know stuff. Okay, the good news is we move in, and let's see, is that after you move? Can we? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a good question of whether we still have a window to use track shoes to keep moving. Because um, after we move... Oh, but before anybody's at the new location, I'm just going to avoid some controversy by not using track shoes at this point. <laughs> yeah, because like, I guess I theoretically could because we're in the after you move part but i mean does i think i have a feeling we might advance the act after we've completed our move completely and after the track shoes window has you know passed that's a weird one the track shoes window yeah okay so what we're gonna do um yep as you say the the fun begins the encounter deck is on the field so yeah and so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to blitz this part um try to spend as little time as possible um getting our 10 clues and uh, as many victory points as we can from these six locations. Okay, so 
We've spent one, we still have three actions left. That's really good. We still have our lock picks up ready. We still have deduction and we still have breaking and entering in case we run into bad guys. Um, if we run into a really bad location, we can use our track shoes to come back. So I think a plan is forming. We're going to second real action. We're going to move. We're going to pick a location. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's go to this one. And let's see what's down here. All right. After you reveal this location, if you do not leave this location before the end of the round, place a doom on the current agenda. Okay, so this might be one worth using track shoes for. Um, we have two actions left. So I guess my choices are I can do lock picks with deduction. And then last action move, that'll cost me two actions. Another possibility is I could just track shoes back. And um, deal with it, deal with that some other time. Let's see. The other possibility is if I track shoes back, I can then go to a different one. But this one's a dead end. Okay, so this one's a dead end. Um, there aren't, and it's not. It's gonna be kind of awkward to get back there. So I think we're gonna take the lock picks deduction route. Okay. So third real action, we're gonna use lock picks to investigate, and we're gonna use deduction. So we're gonna be four, eight, nine, ten on four. Not a tentacle, thank goodness. So um, we get both the clues. Okay. And then last action, we're gonna head back. Okay. It's too bad we can't. Yeah, we can't go to any of the others. Okay. So that went pretty well. Um, we dealt with this uh, without it biting us, and that's two victory points in the victory display. Lola is ready. Lola is armed and ready to go. Her fingerprint kit means she's also going to be able to investigate two clues at a time. Um, the skulls might start biting her, though. So we'll have to be careful for those. Either way, we have no active baddies since the worst nightmare is gone. Okay. Oh, Manson. Yeah, spend 800 points for Bless. Oh, yes. I totally wish you guys could spend 800 channel points to bless me. Oh, there's the fine clothes. Yep, and add some blesses to the bag. That would be so nice. All right, so there's no baddies on the board, so I'll leave that inactive. Okay, so we got to watch out for those skulls since um, Lola's are minus three and Finn's are minus two. Okay, um, new turn. We are at now 10 Doom out of 19. Okay, and we're going to draw encounter cards. We've got a Crypt Chill. Test Willpower 4 if you fail. Discard an asset. Oh, that's nasty, because I like all the assets. Um, so right now we're 3 on 4, so I think this is worth using Prophesy. Um, that's going to be putting us at 6 on 4, so Skulls still bite us. It's only when you're performing. Okay, Skulls still bite us. All right, so if I fail this, um, who do I lose? Probably the Enchanted Blade, weirdly enough. I don't want to, but probably. I'll use Alyssa Graham, since we're, um, we're, all, we're a mystic already, and we're kind of in the window. Okay, so this is a fine close there. Yeah, whatever. Okay. We know, what, we do, what we know is that we're not getting narcoleptic. Okay, so we're going to do six on four. Let's hope for the best. There's the skull. Yep, it's almost like I uh, predicted it, and you know, it just decided to come out, come out as a result. Okay, so we failed Crypt Chill, and I think we're gonna lose. There's also an argument to losing Alyssa Graham at this point because we've already dealt with both the um, nasty weaknesses. Now that adds to our intellect. We need to keep that. Okay, so we're gonna lose the Enchanted Blade. We're gonna try to blitz it. We're gonna try to rely on evasion and not on weaponry. All right, that's too bad though. I guess it opens up Scroll Secrets. Yep. Okay. Over to here, we've got a furtive zoog. Okay, so it spawns. Engage the investigator at your location with the lowest fight. That's both of them. So I guess we'll hang on to it. Ah. Okay. So it has swarming, and it's been a little while since I've played swarming by the book. You know, normally I like to use tokens for swarming because, you know, it's just it just makes more sense, especially on TTS. So what do we do? We place the X top card of your deck face down underneath the enemy. Okay, so this card becomes a swarm card. Yeah, you see, swarms are a little, they're just really clunky on TTS, so I'll just do that. All right, fortunately, he's easy to evade, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. All right, so we just need to, like, evade and move and stuff. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, we know that that's a safe card, so I think 
We're gonna have Lola. She was already a mystic. I think we'll have her just like move and investigate with um with her fingerprint kit. Yeah, and if she runs into like those the you know the big gug, she could probably evade it actually because she's got another um another prophesy. Sad thing about scroll of secrets is it could be pretty cool, but we know that that the first charge isn't going to do much because we know that the bottom one is already a um, crisis of identity. So I don't know if I want to spend an action doing that. I'll probably put that down there when we have a few actions available. Okay, so let's get rolling. We've already used Alyssa Graham. Let's pick another um, Enchanted Woods, and we're going to start with Lola. We'll go here. Okay, what do we have? After you enter this location, we'll either take two horror or lose all your remaining actions. So she spends two horror. Yeah, we'll just put it on Alyssa Graham. Okay. Two actions left. Okay, we're going to swap to Seeker. And we're going to use Fingerprint Kit to um, investigate. So we're currently a five on a three. So here's the problem is we're still kind of... Um, skulls are still hurting us. So I think I'm going to actually commit the Scroll of Secrets to this test. Since we, it's not that important right now, because we've already gotten rid of our nastiest weaknesses. Okay. So we'll investigate. Now we're going to go three, four, five, six on three. Yeah, that seems better. Oh, minus two at the moment. Ooh, that's going to stack up. Right, I forgot about this. This is going to get pretty nasty as time goes on. Revealed Enchanted Woods. Okay, so that's a minus two right now. So we succeed and get both clues. Nice. Okay, so last action. There's really not much to do but come back. I mean, I could play the fine clothes for more soak, but nah. Come back. Yeah, this part's kind of awkward. You gotta, you gotta keep bouncing back and forth. That's what track shoes should help with. All right, so over here, the only problem is if Finn leaves this guy behind, Lo's gonna have to deal with it, and she's down a weapon. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad, but it's okay. Yeah, we'll deal with it. He's only one to evade, so Pfft. yeah. Okay, so Finn's gonna take his Finn action to evade. He's gonna be five on one. That's a minus two, so three on one. We succeed by two. Yep, the cultist token in the end game is very nasty. Yeah, especially on like the first scenario of a campaign. You know, it's like gets to be like a minus six. Yeah, so we have succeeded by two. Get a card. Okay, there's our other track shoes, and this furtive zoog is evaded. Okay, that now we have four real actions to go look for clues. Um, yeah, we'll just go look for clues, and if we find like a nasty location, we can track shoes back. Okay, so let's do it. Let's go here. All right. Okay, that's not too bad. It's just extra, extra zoog zooging. All right, so we'll just start looking for clues. Um, we don't have any multi cluing right now, so I guess we'll just use the lock picks. We're going to be, what do we got? It's a Shroud 3. We're going to be a 9. So we went Evade, Move, Investigate at a 9 versus a 3. Seems good. We get a clue. Okay, I could Investigate again at 4 on 3. Um, skulls are minus 3, which is kind of nasty. Um, yeah, I think I will, though. I'll Investigate 4 on 3, and then I'll commit these lock picks to go 5 on 3. Yeah, so now we're succeeding on Skulls and on Tablets, but not on the Cultist token. Yep, and we get a minus three. That's okay. Okay, so last action. Um, let's see, I want to stay there to investigate again. Let's see. I could move back in order to um, let the Zook engage me, but he's only a shroud. He's only he's only a difficulty one to for to evade, so Lola can deal with it. So I think I'll actually just I can investigate four on three. Yeah, why not? I'll just investigate four and three. I don't really need cards right now, and I don't really need resources. So let's do it. Up, oh, yeah, we fail. Okay, that was a minus two. Okay, so no active baddies right now. This one um, engages Lola. Okay, we just have to. We're gonna have to remember that that is Finn's card. Okay, then we'll and we'll go to upkeep. Okay, we've got another fine close, and over here. We've got, oh, a you handle this one. Okay, so if we get a really nasty willpower treachery, we can just hand it on over. Okay, we've already used our roll swap. We are good to go. Okay, so new turn. We're going to be at 10, 11 with Alyssa, Alyssa Graham. 
Okay, we have five clues out of ten, so we are doing okay. But we're going to try to get all, all the locations. We're going to draw some encounter cards. Oh, dear. Okay, so this is massive. All right, so Lola has two things to deal with. This is the part where I wish I still had my Enchanted Blade. Increase the difficulty for you to attack or attempt to evade him for each card in your hand with an encounter card back. Oh, hidden encounter cards. Okay. We've got an Obscuring Fog. Okay, that's not going to be much of a problem. Yeah, because it's Shroud 5. Finn's going to be pff, really in really good shape. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Finn go first so he can come back and evade this thing with his free action. Yeah, no, that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so we're going to start with a... Um, yeah, we're going to start with lockpicks. We're going to be 9 on 5. That still feels pretty good. So let's do it. 9 on 5. Nice. We succeed by 2. Get a card. Okay. Ooh, 25 automatic. That might come in handy very soon here. Okay, so we get the clue. I like this card. It's fun. Um, it's not a particularly good card, but... I And I wish it cost a little less. Like, I wish it cost 3 and had 3 shots, but... Still, I think we're going to see why I included it in this deck. Um, so first action, we investigate. Second action, we'll move. Is this connected to anything? No. Okay. So second action, we'll move. We'll use our fin action to... <clears throat> we'll use our fin action to evade the Crawling Mist. We're currently a five on three. We'll commit watch this and bet three resources. Okay, so we're betting on succeeding by one. That's kind of the problem right now. Because that puts us at six on three, but we really want to succeed by one. Skulls are minus threes right now. So I think we're going to commit this track shoes to go to seven on three. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Nice. Okay, so we, so we succeed by a whole bunch, which is important, because now we gain six resources. And this thing's evaded. And the reason why I was so keen on gaining six resources is now I have enough to one, two, three, four... Play the auto, play the twenty five automatic um, as a fast action. Okay, so we're gonna shoot this guy. He's a three. Can I shoot it? We're gonna be a five on a three. I could use watch this again. Nah, uh, but then I'm committing to. <clears throat> I'd be committing to succeeding by one, which doesn't feel like the best right now. Okay, nothing to really commit here. Okay, so we'll shoot it five on three. Nope, okay, fortunately no retaliate. Last action, we'll shoot it again at five on three. Much better. Okay, so we deal it two damage. Two damage is all we needed to do to deal to it, um, as you'll see in a moment. So over to Lola, we're going to, um, we're, it's, um, it's mystic time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to evade this uh, <coughs> Fervative Zug. So right now we're three on one. I'll commit this fine close to go to four on one. That is a minus three, so I am... Oh, that's gone. That is a minus three, because we have three revealed Enchanted Woods. So I'm glad I went three over. Okay, so that'll... This Furtive Zug and its Swarm card from Finn will be evaded. Ah. Okay, so that was our first action. Now we're going to swap to Mystic, use a lesser gram. Scroll of Secrets stays on top. Okay. Next we're going to Spectral Razor. The we're gonna Spectral Razor the Crawling Mist. Okay, so that puts us at six on three on this. Six on three. I really want this to land. But I feel pretty confident. Just I need to not draw this token. Haha, -ha, it's the it's not the minus four. Yeah, see what I did there? I tried I I I uh I dared the bag to give me the minus four and it uh it, it didn't work. In the eighties it was hammer time. Actually, wasn't the hammer time early nineties, Manson? That was like ninety one, wasn't it? Either way, this thing, since it's not elite, it takes three damage and it is into the victory display thanks to some magic from Lola Hayes. That was our second action. Third action, we're going to move. So that way, next turn, we can use our fingerprint kit. So let's do it. Um, I mean, I might run into some 
a nasty location, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Like that one. Yep, that was the one I was afraid of. Spawns the lam lam <laughs> spawns the laboring gug. Oh god. Oh god, that hurts. Yep, that was the one I was afraid of. Yep. Okay. Um, what's that connected to? It's connected to the plus sign and the square, so it's yep, it's still isolated at this point. Yep. The gug. Okay, enemy phase. The gug is going to hit Lola for three damage and a horror. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Okay, now we're going to go to upkeep. Okay. Let's, uh, we're going to draw our scroll of secrets and get a resource over here. We're going to reset all our actions, draw an overpower. Okay, that'll be handy. All right, new turn. Hopefully Lola won't get another. Oh, and this guy is going to, it's going to ready. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to 11 Doom, 12 with Alyssa Graham. I think we're still on track. That was a pretty nasty pull. It was 1 and 3, but oh well. We deal with it. Oh, what have we here? I guess this is a hidden card. Okay, cannot commit targets to skill tests with an odd number of total skill icons on them. Oh, that sucks because our Prophesize has three icons. In fact, all our cards have three icons. Yeah, we can't even get rid of it. Okay, that sucks. And then over here, oh, Somnophobia. I was worried about this. This is how Finn takes a whole bunch of horror. Hmm. But we have a way to deal with this. I can give it over to Lola. She can't commit anything, so she'd be three on five. No, that's that's bad. That's mean. That would be mean. <coughs> so, but I have a weird idea. If I commit, watch this. That would be a plus four. So it'd be five on five. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Five on five. It would be hilarious. Uh, for each point you fail by. Okay, so I think I'll actually will commit it, but I won't actually bet any resources on it. Okay, so we're going to, um, since the... The willpower icon counts as two, so we're going to be five on five. Yeah, um, I could commit this. You handle this one to try to pass it. Because that would put us two over. Then we might actually pass it. Um, at this point, yeah, let's do it. I could also commit this overpower and try to pass it, which would be hilarious. Nah, I'm gonna need the whole. I'm gonna need the overpower to deal with the gug. All right, so I'll, I'll commit. You handle this one. Okay, so that'll add another two icons. So we're gonna be five seven on five on a willpower test. Hey, I pass it. Maybe I should have bet on watch this. Oh well. Use lucky cigarette case to get a card. Nice. Turn resources into clues. All right. So what do we need to do? We need to deal with this guy. Fortunately, I have a plan, and it involves Finn saving the day. So, although he's only a two to evade. All right, we're going to Finn to save the day. We're going to start with our free action evade. He's going to be five on one. Okay, minus two, so um, we succeed. This thing is evaded. Okay. We have three bullets left in the automatic. Do I spend one to shoot this guy? Nah, I won't bother. Okay, first real action. We're going to come down here. Second real action. We're going to play Breaking and Entering to uh, investigate the One Shroud location, but also evade this thing that's not engaged with, um, with Finn. That's one uh, hidden thing that I really like about this card. Um, I think a couple years ago, um, Innkeeper Vase Odin did a video all about Cheap Shot, and it hit me that like there were, at the time at least, very few effects that let you in evade something without having to engage it first. So this is like the exact um this is like the exact situation where like Cheap Shot, you know, and in this case, now since Cheap Shot was published, uh, breaking and entering are like you know, 
chef's kiss nice because we're gonna try to evade this thing that's not engaged with him because normally he would have to like engage and then evade and we're not gonna do that we're gonna say we're gonna actually save actions so um first real action we move second real action we are playing breaking and entering we are nine on one uh that's a minus that's a minus four so five on one we succeed by enough you know to uh get a clue and also evade this guy okay so the question is do we go for the victory point by shooting it or do we go for like clues um i have two actions left i could go shoot with the automatic twice uh he is hard to hit though because he's a five um lola could try to finish it off actually not really because she can't commit cards um i think we're gonna use Alyssa graham at this point you know between actions because it's a fast so we've got an enchanted blade coming up okay so maybe we can deal with this guy because lola will be five on will be five on five with the enchanted blade the problem is i i can't i can't commit cards So that's actually not going to work out very well because I, if I could commit this prophesy, I would be like, um, I would be super good to go. Hmm. Two actions. Okay, so if I shot it, I'd be five on five, and that's not good enough. So I'm thinking we just lock picks and walk away. Maybe, maybe we'll deal with this guy later. He's not going to hunt us into the enchanted path. Okay, so maybe we'll deal with him later. All right, so third real action. Lockpicks. Nine on one. Success. We get the clue. Last action. Head back in. Head back to the enchanted path because this is still a... Yep, there's no plus sign or um, square on the board for us to run to. Okay, Lola's turn. We've used Alyssa Graham already. Okay, so there's not much for her to do. We know that we know what that's gonna be. So there's not much to do, but I guess go and look for more clues. Okay. First action move. Second action will go here. As an additional cost for you to leave this location. You must choose and discard a card from your hand for each clue in this location. Okay, well, hopefully we're going to be able to get rid of the clues. The small problem is that it's Shroud 4, which is kind of nasty, and um, we can't commit cards to, like, help out. I would love to just investigate right now, but I'd be 5 on 4. Um, that feels bad. I think if we can get a card, that'll help. If we can get a card that has actual icons on it, like two icons, so we can actually get rid of this thing, then we'll be able to deal with it. So I think we're just going to hang out and um, probably use our school secrets. Another possibility is we could draw with our last action. Yeah, because then next, because then if we draw again and get, then if we draw an upkeep and we get um, our last weakness, um, what's it? Not kleptomania, the one where you fall asleep, narcolepsy. It won't be too bad. Uh, another possibility is I could put down Scroll of Secrets at this point. And I think I will, actually, based on some treacheries that are in this deck. So last action, what we're going to do is we're going to play Scroll of Secrets. Fast action, we're going to use Scroll of Secrets. We're going to look at the bottom card of the deck. And I don't actually know how to do that properly. Like, how to look at the bottom card of a deck. You know, I don't want to shuffle because of Alyssa Graham. Yeah, so I think... How do I do this? Spread the cards on the table? No. I want to I want to like drop a card. I think there's a way to do it. I just don't know what it is. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to flip the deck over and I'm gonna have to uh you know like I might get a peek at this card on the bottom right there, but there's not much I can do about it. So I peek at the card and I discard it. Okay. Next turn, I'll be able to do it again, because I'll be able to do it two more times for free. That's why I'm going to do it. Okay. That's the end of her turn. Do I stay a Mystic? Probably? No, I swapped a Seeker. Yeah, I'll swap to Seeker. 
because I'm hoping to use fingerprint kit, then mid test I can swap into um, Mystic and use Prophesy if we get rid of this. That is the plan. It's gonna be based on what this card is. Wait, I already know what it is. It's an enchanted blade. Or it could be based on what that bottom card is, whatever it is. Okay, so enemy phase, no active enemies. Upkeep phase, Finn makes a friend again. Yep, a nice way to throw away the weakness. Ever since I made that taboo, ever since they made that taboo where this is a free action to use, it's like Lola baby. Um, also, the upgraded version is even better at it. To be honest, um, Scroll Secrets is also very good for dealing with uh, the weakness doomed, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna um, refresh everything, and then we're gonna draw cards and gain resources. Okay, we already knew that was coming. Okay. Draw a card, gain resource. Okay, so actually he's in pretty good shape to fight the to fight the Gug now, because he'd be seven on five to to fight it if I use two overpowers. Oh well. Okay, but maybe maybe next time. Okay, new turn. We're at twelve doom out of nineteen, thirteen with Alyssa Graham. So now we're gonna get encounter cards and hope we don't get really nasty ones. Deeper slumber. Okay, so Lola's maximum hand size is now a five, and it's checked each time she draws a card. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. Because I wanted to draw with Scroll Secrets. Alright, well, I'll deal with it. What do we got over here? Oh, we got another hidden card. Cannot play cards or commit cards to skill tests with an odd number of words in their title. Oh, god damn it, I can't, even, I can't commit overpowers. I'd have to discard my intel report in order to commit overpower. Lucky, only five health in the gug. Yeah, imagine doing this solo. This thing. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so... Okay, so we've got some pretty debilitating weaknesses right now, which is kind of nasty. So I want to get these two clues, but in order to do it, I gotta get some more card. I gotta like get rid of this thing. Okay, so if I discard, if I draw the card off the bottom, I'll have to check this. Awful. Let's see how we're we doing on time. We've only got one location left, so maybe we're doing okay on time. Okay, so maybe we should just take our time. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend two actions getting rid of deeper slum getting rid of deeper slumber. Okay, I'm gonna use scroll secrets to look at the bottom card. Okay, it's Intel Report. Um I Yep, totally put that into my hand. So the question is I could discard it. I could um discard Intel Report to get rid of this thing. Or I could just use the Intel Report and not even have to make a test at all. I don't necessarily need to use Alyssa Graham this turn. Um, I don't necessarily need to use Alyssa Graham this turn because the worst that could be is narcolepsy. Finn's got enough actions to go deal with that. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll swap to Rogue. There it is. Last action. We're gonna play Intel Report to get those two clues without even making a test. Okay, so that's that. All right, that's locate that location down. Okay, so that's Lola. Cannot commit cards, right? Okay, over here we'll just evade this guy for free. Yep. Evade him with uh, his free test. We are five on one. Minus two. So that succeeds by two. So use Lucky Cigarette Case, get a card. Ooh, slip away, that's handy. Love this card. I mean, it's eight, it's a base eight with Finn. I love it. And you lock a thing for you know multiple turns. Love it. So we'll evade that. Do I even need to shoot it? Probably not. Okay, so we can head down and deal with this Enchanted Woods. We've got an Intel Report actually to do it. Oh yeah, how's this one doing for connections? It is the circle. So it's not actually connected. So it's not connected with that. That's what I was worried about, that I was screwing up that way. It's connected to the star, though, so it's connected to this. And it's connected to the plus sign, which is not in play. Okay, so I didn't screw up by having something that this was connected to. Yeah, that could have been a problem. Uh, I guess one thing to note is if, if that's the plus sign, then or if that's the square, Finn has to deal with this thing. All right, so I'll go in with the intention of probably using Intel Report. Oh, he only has two resources, so maybe that's not such a great idea. All right, well, I'll do it anyway. 
Okay. We'll head in. First real action. Okay, so it's the plus sign. That is going to be connected to this and connected to that. Well, that's weird. Okay, so I'm going to have to rearrange the uh, the woods a little bit. Let's see. So it's like, it's as if, um, it's like this is up here. Okay, and then it's also, and then like this is also up there. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. Yeah, and then like these are connected. Yeah, because this is connected to that, that, and that. Okay, there's no square in play. Um, yeah, that's connected to the star. Yep, there's nothing connecting to the green. Wait, that's also connected to the star. <laughs> okay, so maybe like it's like that's there. Okay, and then that would be this. That would normally be the square. Nothing's connected to the teardrop, so it's like this, I guess. Not that it matters, and he's up here. Okay, so he's got to worry about this uh, Gug hunting. Okay, that was his first real action. We have, we have three actions left. I might use slip away on this um this Gug, right? Because I can, yep, I can still use slip away on the Gug. So I can go move slip away, and then I have one action to. Well, I guess Lola can use fingerprint kit on that location. Oh, it's round five. Jeez. Uh, I want to use that makes me want to use lockpicks at least once, and go deal with the gug. Huh? Does this hunt? No. Okay. So if I go lockpicks, move, slip away, I think we're going to be okay. All right, let's do it. So we're going to go lockpicks. We're going to be nine on five. We might break the lock the lockpicks though. That could be a problem. But but I think the intel report will save us in if we break the lockpicks. Okay, so we are nine on five. Nice. We are we uh we don't break the lockpicks. We get a clue. Okay. Third real action. We'll head here. Engage the gug. Okay. Last real action. We're gonna play slip away. So we're gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on two. Not a tentacle. And we evade this and lock it for a turn. Okay. So we are set for a little while there. Okay, that means next turn we can start shooting it. Um, yeah, we could just start shooting it. Uh, we have Enchanted Blade to finish it. We have options. Okay, no active enemies. Upkeep, this guy's going to ready. Okay, and then all our stuff is going to ready. Okay, not narcolepsy. Very important. Over here. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Ready each enemy at your location or connecting location. Okay. So he's readied and engages. Okay, each hunter at a connecting location... Oh, at a connecting location moves one location towards you. Okay, well, that doesn't hunt. So the sad part is no enemies were moved as a result of this effect, so it goes back in the deck. Yeah, well, he's got his free evade that he could use on this. Yeah. But it's still in there. Okay, so that slip away kind of got wasted because of that draw. Okay, but I think we'll deal with it. All right, that ends the turn. New turn. We're at 13 Doom out of 19, 14 with Alyssa Graham. Let's draw some encounter cards. Dreamland's Eclipse. Okay, so initiating investigations cause either horror or extra shroud. I'll put this down here to hopefully remember. And we've got another one. So, yep, we take two horror for investigating. <laughs> but actually it doesn't hurt us right now because we're probably going to use this intel report to deal with this. Or, well, we kind of can't because of this thing. Okay, so I think we're going to have to actually have Finn go first here. Uh, even number of words. Okay, so if Finn, if he evades, which shouldn't be too hard, in order to shoot at it, he's going to be five on five. Problem is, I can't commit these overpowers. So I think what we'll do is we'll evade and we'll see if Lucky Cigarette Case um, triggers. Moment, is the effect from the card not still ongoing? Um, slip away? Yeah, it's still ongoing, but it only locks it for the upkeep phase. It doesn't lock it, like, forever. You know, for, you know, it doesn't lock it against other effects. It's just this, um, 
It's just the upkeep phase. Is the effect from the card not still ongoing? From moment, you said? I think we're we're good here. All right. So I think we're going to start with Finn, and we're going to have him evade five on two. If we get lucky cigarette case, that'd be great. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, hey, hey, we succeed by two. So we actually get our lucky cigarette case, and it's not caught red-handed. Okay, in fact, that's perfect, because it has two words Yep, in its title. He's evaded. Okay, so I think we have a plan now. Second action, we're going to get rid of this by discarding Intel Report. Okay, first real action. Now we'll start shooting. Second real action, we'll shoot. We're going to be five on five. Commit this overpower to be six, seven on five. Nice. Okay, so that's a minus one. So we hit it for two damage. And we draw a card off the overpower. Breaking and entering. Uh, not what we need right now. But sure. Okay. Second real action. We'll shoot again. Commit this overpower. Seven on five. Five on five. Oh, ouch. Okay. So that. So we fail. It was an attack. Or oh, not a swarming enemy. So it's okay. All right. So we'll miss that. Um, I have two real actions left. I don't mind sticking around because I can just free evade him without too much trouble. Um, I don't want to shoot though. So I think at this point I'll draw. Although I only have eight cards left and one of them is caught right-handed again. Okay, we might have to have Lola come in and take care of this. One, two, but she's not gonna be able to do it this turn because she has to move twice to get over there. Yeah, because Lola can just go move, move, Enchanted Blade. Ah, oh, but then she still has to deal with this thing. That's, that is a problem. Because we just don't have enough two icon cards. I want to commit this Prophesy! <laughs> yeah, maybe the bottom card of the deck will reveal a uh, two icon card. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do? Um, we're not going to shoot. I think we'll just draw and stay here for Lola to deal with him. So that way he can evade it when, um, you know, so he can evade it and then Lola can kill it. So I think we'll just draw. Not caught red-handed. Um, now I don't want to draw because that if that's caught red-handed, that would be bad. So I'll just take a resource. Okay. Lola's turn. Uh, as, we, as we suggested, I think we're going to move twice and then probably play the Enchanted Blade. Yeah, I think this intel report is going to be what grabs that last clue. Okay. Move twice. Swap to Mystic. Although I guess Seeker is fine too. No, we'll swap to Mystic. Use Alyssa Graham. Oh, Unexpected Courage. That is good. Because that's going to help us um, get rid of this. Use Scroll of Secrets. Okay, so we'll look at the bottom card of the deck. Okay, it's Improvisation. I'm totally keeping that. That will also let us um, discard that. So we've moved twice. We've used our free actions. We've swapped to Mystic. So I think at this point I'll... Yeah, I'll play the Enchanted Blade. There we go. Okay, so that's her turn. All right, enemy phase. No active enemies, because this guy doesn't hunt. We'll have Finn engage this. And then we'll um, draw some cards. Unexpected Courage, as we knew. Over here. Finn's trusty 38, never leave home without it. Okay, so that might actually be useful. Although, probably, eh, maybe it might be useful, depending on how Lola does. Okay. 
That ends the round. We go to 15 Doom out of 19. And we get Treacheries, and hopefully these aren't bad. Oh yeah, and these need to, I guess, go away. Yeah, these go away. That's good. What do we got here? Lost in the Woods. Oh, and it's going to surge. Each Investigator in Enchanted Woods, which we are test willpower at three. Each Investigator fails, loses an action, takes a horror. Oh, this is bad because we need to deal with this guy. All right. I can't commit cards with odd numbers. Ugh. All right. So right now we're three on three. I can't commit this Prophesy. So if I discard one of these two, I think... Wait... Oh, I think I'm just going to eat it, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't commit. So she loses an action and takes a horror, and then that surges. Crypt chill. Yuck. I think I'm going to lose the fingerprint kit when I fail this. We are three on four. Let's use Alyssa. Although I might be able to get rid of Alyssa, actually. Look at this card. Narcolepsy. So we know narcolepsy's coming. All right, so my plan is I'm going to get rid of Alyssa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Doom on Alyssa to put Narcolepsy on the bottom of the deck. So now that's all her weakness is covered. And then we're going to lose... Oh, yeah, Finn needs to do it too. Oh, thank you, Manson. Um, I'll have Finn do it in a sec. So um, it's we're in the middle of the Crypt Hill test. But thank you, Manson. Um, so my plan is now I'm going to fail this and get rid of Alyssa because that'll get rid of the two Doom. Hopefully it won't take a bunch of horror, though. Okay, here we go. Three on four. Yeah, we failed that. Okay, so we're going to lose Alyssa and lose that two doom. Alyssa, thank you so much for all your contributions. You found the weaknesses. Okay, Finn needs to make a um, make that test. He's going to fail it. So, boom, he fails it. Okay, so he loses one of his real actions and takes a horror. Okay, we've already resolved the surge. Now his card is Prismatic Phenomenon. The first time you perform one of... The following actions, draw a resource for play, it costs an additional action. And then when you successfully investigate, instead of discovering clues, you discard it. All right. Okay, so what we need to do is we've gotten rid of our weakness. I think we're in good shape now, because we just need to evade this guy, go get this clue, and then just speed to the finish. All right, let's do it. Free action, we're evading. We're going to be five on two. Nice. Okay, so we succeed by a bunch. Um, what if I draw, after you succeed at a skill test for two or more, uh, I just don't want to draw caught red handed is why. So I think I'll just not draw cards. Okay. That was, so we have three real action. We have three real actions left. This is draw resource or play. If I shoot, I'm at 5-on-5. Five five. Not so great. Yeah, because Lola... Uh, Lola's going to... Lola's also going to be 5-on-5. Five five. Hmm. Okay, so I need, a, I need an action to go there. So that way I can place... I can play into our port to grab that clue. Or I... Yeah, because like, if I investigate with lockpicks, this would nullify it. So if I go move, intel report... Oh, I don't even have to. I can just intel report from here. Well, from down there and have it cost four. So I can just... That'll save an action. I'll save two actions, actually. So I can go here and deal with this thing. Go... Move, evade, shoot that. And then rely on, on Lola to kill this thing. So if Lola goes to kill this thing, she has to discard this. Then she gets two attacks, one with this boost and one with that boost. Uh, feels pretty good. And if she misses either one of them, she has another attack, but we'll deal with that if the time comes. Okay. So I've got a plan here. We're going to go we're gonna push down this way. Although I do have some time left. 14 out of... All right, let, yeah, let's just push to the finish. Okay, so we're going to... We have three real actions. We're going to move. Okay. 
We can't afford to use our slip away, so I think we're going to um, just evade this guy. We are five on one. Minus two, so we succeed. Oh yeah, he engaged and then we evaded. Okay. Move, evade. Shoot. Sure. Okay, so we're going to be five on three to shoot. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh well. <laughs> that's three tentacles, no other signs. Okay, so that's that. Um... Oh, it's an action, so I could just drop this into play. Eh, it's fine. I'll deal with I can do that later. Oh, I need to save the resources for Intel Report anyway. Okay, so Lola, she has two actions. Oh crap, I screwed up. I was I thought I had three. So I have some options. I can Yep, fourth auto fail. I can en enchanted blade twice and use un and use these two, but then I'll be completely unable to get rid of law of, of Igoroth. Or I can I can discard to you know, law of Igoroth and then attack with prophesy, put him in down to one hit point. Yeah, I think that seems a little more. That's like the cautious way of going about it. Okay, so I'll play cautious. I'll spend an action to get rid of um, this law of Igoroth. Okay, last action, I'll attack, commit prophesy. So we're going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because there's a lot of doom in play. So eight on five. God damn it. Okay. Yep, that's a failure. That's a minus six. Okay, so this is starting to go south. Um, fortunately, we have time. We played conservatively, and I think even though we took the, these nasty um, tokens, I think we might be, we might still be okay. Okay, enemy phase. I did not expect to fail all that. Okay, no active enemies. This guy engages Lola. Oops. This guy engages Finn. Upkeep. Intel report. Okay, that's good to see. That's another option for getting that clue. Over here. Faustian Bargain. Don't really need that right now. Okay, new turn. 15 out of 19. Okay, so the it's a lot is on a lot of weight is on these. Uh-oh, what do we got? You cannot play cards or trigger abilities on player cards with an odd printed resource. Oh, come on. We can't use our enchanted blade. Oh. Fortunately, we have, but it's just, oh, I kind of like, mm. and over here, oh, look at whiffed. That is a, one of the greatest things that happens to you in Arkham is when an encounter card whiffs. Oh, this, this, uh, this scenario is being very stubborn. Yeah. Okay. So what do we do here? Um, I think we're gonna have Finn come by and evade this thing. So that way, um, Lola is able to discard this and then attack twice with her enchanted blade. I think that that's how this is gonna have to go. All right, so Finn will use his free evade on the furtive zug. Yeah, because he doesn't want to take two damage. Okay. Draw a resource or play. Just don't do those. Okay, free evade on the furtive zug. We're gonna be five on one. Oh, have. Fifth auto fail. <sighs> okay, as long as I have two actions to move and slip away the laboring gug. No, we can't do that. That's right. Oh, God. I have to move and gauge and. No, I can break in and entering it. Okay. <sighs> okay, so if I move and then use breaking and entering, I can evade this thing. All right, let's do it. Evade this guy again. Five on one. Minus three, so we succeed by one. That's We don't get Lucky Cigarette Case, but we don't want it right now. We don't want to draw Hunted Down. We'll move. 
we'll use slip away, not slip away. We're going to use breaking and entering. We're going to be nine on one. Okay, that's this action. Jesus. Nine minus one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine minus six is three. Oh, we still succeed by two. Oh my gosh. We still succeed by two. Okay, we, instead of discovering clues, um, we discard prismatic phenomenon because we successfully investigated. Okay, and we've succeeded by two or more, so we automatically evade this enemy. Good lord. Okay, so we still have one action left. So, I know, Manson, this is hilarious. Okay, so we still have an action left. I could break out the 30, trusty 38, and I could attack at five on five. Hmm. Five on five, commit this to go to seven on five. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to throw this gun away. Fast action, play the trusty 38. Last action, we're going to use the trusty 38 to attack this fella, five on five. We have no way to boost it, but Lola can give him two question marks. We're getting desperate here. Okay, so we're two over. Nice, minus two. Okay, so that's two damage to this fella. So he has one health left. Okay. That's the end of his turn. All right, Lola has two attacks at five on five by using Enchanted Blades. Oh, wait, never mind. She can't trigger abilities on that, but we can discard this fingerprint kit from her hand to get rid of this. That's her first action. Okay, so I can attack twice at five on five, but it's five on five. <laughs> That's so bad. <sighs> I need some icons. So you know what? We've got a little bit of time left, so I think I'm going to play conservatively again. And I'm going to draw again. Oh, and look for more icons, I guess. Yeah, let's just do it. All right, fine. We'll draw. Oh, hello. <laughs> that puts her up to seven on five if I toss the fingerprint kit. Or if I, yeah, or if I activate Enchanted Blade and toss that. Seven on five? All right, let's do it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling saucy. Swap to Survivor. Play Act of Desperation. We'll chuck the, we'll uh, smash this guy with a fingerprint kit. Okay, so that puts us up to seven on five. No other boost. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so she smashes the she smashes the gug, gains four resources, sends him to the victor display. Oh, that's super appropriate because like this this right here, the fingerprint lack of desperation combo. This is like one of my like trademark maneuvers from like all the way back when I first started playing, you know, playing Lola Hayes for on videos. Like this is like just this is my live and Levita Lola combo right here. <laughs> I love how it came into play. You know, haven't played Lola in a while, and what do you know? My act of desperation combo saves the day. Yep. Okay, so that was her last action. Okay, so I think now all I gotta do is get this clue, and then we can get out of here. All right. I think we're gonna be all right. Okay, upkeep. This thing readies. Okay. We get our actions back. We draw cards. We gain resources. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> all right, over here. That would have been cool to use with the uh, Enchanted Blade. Draw a card, gain a resource. Okay, here we go. We need to get that. We've got an, we've got an intel report to go get it. We're going to be all right. I hope. New turn, 16 out of 19. And hope these are not terrible. Okay, we got a, goo we got a Zoog. It spawns at a connecting location. All right, we'll just send it right there. We'll put two of Lola's cards, you know, under it. Okay, that's fine. Over here, what do we got? Dreamer's Curse. Okay, oh, it's not the one that causes horror. Very important. Okay, so for each point Finn's fails by, we're gonna take a damage. So we're just gonna eat we're just gonna eat the test. It's a willpower test anyway. Yep, we totally fail that. And we take three damage. One, two, three. A willpower test for damage. That's ugly. Alright. 
Here we go, though. We need to... What do we need to do? We need to spend 10 clues at the Enchanted Path. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Lola go. Actually, we'll just have Finn go. We don't need we don't need Lola dealing with this thing. So we're going to Finn go. He's going to go first action move. Okay. Engage this fella. Okay. Second action. We'll evade it. Five on one. Well, free Finn action. Five on one. That's a minus two. We succeed by two. I'm not going to... I don't want to get uh, um, the weakness. So I'll do that. Okay. Second real action. Let's go ahead and shoot that zo shoot the Zoogs. So we're going to be five on three. Yep, seems fine. Up oh, minus two. Okay, so we defeat the Zoog. Get this card back underneath our deck. Okay, still two actions left. Um, I'll just keep it simple and take resources. Okay, over to Lola. She is going to swap to Rogue. Okay, we're going to play Intel Report at a distance. Okay, we're going to discover a clue from this location. Okay, then we're going to move in here, and then we're going to spend 10 clues and advance. Okay, man, it was getting dicey there for a moment with our with our epically bad um, luck with like some tentacles. I think we drew six tentacles. Yeah, and but we managed to make it through. And I think the decks really shined in the way I kind of wanted them to. I didn't get to blitz these locations like I wanted, but there were a lot of two clue effects that were being flung around this scenario between fingerprint kit, into report. Um, you may have seen read this read the signs pop up, but it got discarded. Um, Finn was Finn used both of his deductions. Finn used, I think, yeah, he also, we've seen his intel reports. So, like, the idea, like, was pretty sound. And, oh, five auto fails. Oh, thanks, Manson. So the idea was pretty sound. And I think um, even though, you know, we it got dicey for a little while, especially when, like, that moment when Lola walked in on the, uh, you know, on, walked in on the gug. That was, that was pretty funny, but we managed to make it work. Um, Finn's, Finn is, um, Finn's great, guys. He's kind of he's kind of underrated nowadays because um, because people love Trish so much, but the fact that Finn gets a fourth action is like super good. It's he gets a fourth action and he gets to play some secret cards and he gets truck shoes. So like that's pretty great, you know. He gets to he gets to play truck shoes. So um, plus he was inspired by the character of Arthur played by um, Joseph Gordon Levitt in um, in Inception, which is kind of like the inspiration for this whole campaign. We have uh, Ariadne and um, Arthur. Um, so yeah, that went pretty well. And uh, I guess we advance. Is that correct? Okay. What we're gonna do is we are going to um, we're gonna side with the cats, whichever one that is. Yes, the tribute. We're gonna. Yeah, we're going to step back and watch this surreal scene play out. We are going to side with the cats. We are Team Cat um, in this run. So I think what happens is we're going to, what do we get? Resolution 1, is that correct? Because we are siding with the cats. Yeah, the, cl the cats collected their tributes. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to earn Randolph Carter Expert Dreamer. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Who gets it? I'm not sure. I'll decide later on who gets it. It's probably going to be Lola, though. Because she can use the soak. Because he actually does have quite a bit of soak. All right, we're going to earn some victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen victory points. That's pretty good. That's, what is it, really? Thirteen? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What? That's a lot of victory points. All right. So uh, that went pretty well. That's thirteen XP to work with. That is pretty great. So I think uh, when I upgrade these decks, we're gonna really start, um, especially the Lola deck, the um, Ariadne identity, start really taking shape. Uh, Finn, his deck is gonna be pretty straightforward to be honest. It's just gonna do pickpocketing level twos to evade stuff. Um, yeah, he's going to upgrade his lockpicks. And I think we're going to go Lola Santiago um, with Finn. I think Leo DeLuca is a little too expensive for um, what I want to be doing. Um, plus, I don't want to take, I don't want to have to like rely on charisma this early. I want to just upgrade a bunch of different cards, um, you know, and get the, get the train rolling. 
I believe one VP is an enemy in the encounter deck. Oh yeah, this one right here that we killed. That guy. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. So I think with Finn, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna swap Leo De Luca out for Lolo Santiago. I think that's gonna be a plan. We're gonna keep that speed cluing going. Um, we're gonna go like two Lolo Santiago's. I think we're gonna upgrade our lock picks so that way they don't break. Um, I might upgrade the lucky cigarette cases, but I'm not sure. We're gonna get like easy marks. Um, I'm debating going down the curse route with these two actually. Um, debating, but not sure. One VP is an enemy in the counter deck, not a Zug. No, there's this guy. Is there a Zug in the encounter deck that has that's worth VPs? I don't think so. Cause Yeah, no no more victory points in the encounter deck. No. Maybe that's in a different scenario. Okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna do some like we're gonna do a lot of different fin upgrades, probably an adaptable it's uh, as well. Um we're gonna do Lola Santiago though. That's gonna be Finn's um Keep the speed cluing up. Because the thing is, we're going to be doing... Um, what's it? We're going to be doing Dream Quest of Unknown Kadath. And that one... Not Dream Quest. The, the second one. What's it? Uh, Search for Kadath. That one is very, like, move fast, get clues. So that's that means we're going to be relying on track shoes and Lola Santiago and that type of stuff. Uh, Lola, we're going to be doing a bit more, like, some mystic things. I think we're going to be doing Crystal and Elder Sign uh, to get Lola's stats up all to all fours. Um... I think I'm also going to go with Gius, that new card that is uh, super fun. And I think we're also going to go with Alter Fates to deal with nasty treacheries. But uh, I've got 13 uh, victory points, so I can decide. I'll decide later what I want to do. I also got to remember to give us Randolph Carter. Okay, so everyone who's uh, stopped on by to, uh, to watch this uh, Inception-inspired game of uh, Arkham Horror, the card game, uh, I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, I know I did. That was getting pretty tense there for a while. So uh, until next time, um, have yourselves an excellent night.